What's up internet? I'm Jay Broadway. Welcome back to my music production channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you a couple different ways to do some tape stop effects in FL Studio. So let's hop right into it. All right, guys. So doing tape stop effects is super easy. So you have your audio file right here. You're going to want to double click into it. And by default, the mode should be set to auto or resample. Uh, you want to set this to stretch. Okay. Because if it's set to auto, if you mess with the pitch here, see nothing is happening like nothing happens. So if you set it to stretch, now we can freely move around the pitch and it, the, um, the sample is gonna be locked to the tempo. So for the tape stop effect, you wanna take your, your pitch bend range right here. By default, this is set to two. Just crank that up to 48. So then hold control on your keyboard and click to select where you want the automation clip to be on your keyboard. Double click into the sample. And then on the pitch, right click and hit A to create an automation clip. And now it's as simple as just bringing that down all the way and then cranking that up. And now we have a tape stop. And there you go. Okay, so as you can see, our pitch is like way too low over here. So what you're gonna have to do is you're gonna have to add a point here, bring that back to the original pitch. So to do that, you can right click this first node here, do copy value, and then you can just right click and hit V on your keyboard to paste value. You can also right click and type in value 0.5. So as you can hear, so there's a little bit of clicking and the way that you can remove that is you can just make a cut right here. Okay. Double click and then go to generic mode right there. And then right before the cut, hold alt on your keyboard and bring it back a little bit. If you still get a little bit of clicking, you can bring it back just a little bit like that. Just mess around with the range until the clicking goes away. So there we go. I was able to adjust that. So now it is completely gone. But what's nice about this method using the automation clip is you have direct control over what you want the character of the tape stop to sound like. So for example, if I, if I make another point right here, I can have a more linear sounding tape stop effect. I don't know if this is actually going to sound good, but it's an option to you. Or I can just completely drop it out like this. Maybe make it do something like this. I don't know. It's up to you and your creativity. Okay. Now the thing about that last method is that it doesn't always work if you're using MIDI um, or a VST that doesn't allow you to uh, mess around with the pitch. Okay. Because some VSTs, uh, the pitch knob will just do nothing. So in that scenario, what you'll have to do is you'll have to highlight your instrument here, control click, do control alt C to render this as an audio form and make sure enable insert effects and en enable master effects is disabled. Then click start there. Then you are given this waveform here to which now you can double click do mode stretch boost that up to 48 select the area where we want the automation clip double click right click a and then boom tape stop just like that and then of course we got to go do this thing where we paste that back see also if you don't want too much of a, a tape stop you can also double click into this and just shorten the lessen the amount of pitch range so maybe instead we just do 24 here see right there that's a less harsh tape stop but it can be annoying to have to de-click um all the tape stops here when you're doing the pitch bends so another thing you could do is you could just apply an effect on the uh the mixer so what i mean by that is uh, so we got our midi here and we can link it Control l to a mixer slot and then we can just add an effect so d blue tape stop this is a free tape stop plugin um, I'll have a link down in the description so you guys can check this out, but it's, it's very easy. All you do is like you have your trigger right here and you just automate the trigger. So let's just select, uh, I don't know, like this area right here, right click, hit a to make an automation clip and then bring this up and then boom, that's our tape stop. And then of course you have to bring this back down to D trigger. It. So what's interesting, if I disable the automation clip and we just do this manually, you can see that the tape stop actually takes effect when we hit uh, 0.5 on the trigger. See, so actually what you could do instead, instead of having it ramp up like this, you could just do a hold, a hold effect like that, and then position the node where you want the tape stop effect to take place. So like right there, for example. And there you go. And then of course, if you want to change the duration of the tape stop, you just uh, mess around with the slowdown right here. So if you, if you bring this up, then it's going to be a faster tape stop. If you bring this down, it'll be a slower tape stop. See so a very fast tape stop. Let's bring it down. Very slow tape stop. Now, the reason why it reset is because our D trigger uh, automation clip 
uh, ended right there. But if we if we extend that out like that, then it will be a slow tape stop. All right, guys. Well, that's three different ways on how to do a tape stop effect in FL Studio. I hope you guys learned something of value from this video. Be sure to check out my other content to like and subscribe and to post a comment down below with the future tutorials you'd like to see. Thanks for watching once again, guys, and I'll see you next time. Peace out.